drama students. They have been working so very hard on these uh, docudramas. In September they pick the topics themselves, then they research the work through October, and they write all of the scenes that you're about to see. They are student written works, which is really exceptional. The writing is very intelligent, clever, and very funny. Uh, also, of course, they act in them, they produce them, uh, and the posters, programs, tickets, and they stage manage, work with the tech um, and drama crew for stage managing. The performances are called docudramas because they are documentary in nature. That means that all of the scenes that you are about to see are based on true life stories. Um, non-fiction works, uh, facts, and statistics. And some of the pieces are even verbatim text. In other words, uh, words spoken by people who truly experienced um, the, the issue or the topic. I know you're going to love piracy, but I'm gonna, and I hope you enjoy your lunches, but I'm gonna ask you to do all the crinkly bits right now. Uh, so you don't disturb other members of the audience. And please take all of your garbage and recycling with you. And finally, turn off all blackberries, blueberries, and anything that goes deep in the dark. Thank you. You guys always do that so much better than I do. So no idea if it's cool yet. Guys, there's a note in here. Ooh, read it. Well, I have to um, open it first. All right. <clears throat> Clever so finds this chest should not open. It. I think they would have put that on the outside yeah, of the chest. <laughs> all righty, continuing. If they do not heed this warning and choose to touch all the items in the chest, and they can manage to weather the trials, they should find something beyond what any can dream. Ah! So, whoever wrote that is obviously trying to scare us off. Yeah, well, it's working because I'm pretty scared. Pretty scared for a pirate? You know we're not actual pirates, right? This is just fun, right? Okay, I'm allowed to want to be a pirate. Pirates are awesome. All right. <laughs> Guys, back to the box. Do we really think there's something magical or special at the bottom? Uh, try away. grabbing something, maybe? But this, uh, this your model boat. <laughs> Hi everyone, and welcome to The Wida. My name is Becky. And I'm Tiffany, and I will also be helping out the best possible ride on this ship. Welcome to The Wida. The what does? No, 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 The Wida. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> The Wida is a very famous ship, once owned by the pirate Black Sam. Ooh, Black Sam was once a very, very successful pirate long ago. And now, the pirate ship has been renovated into the best cruise ship to ever be made out of a really old pirate ship that was once used to kill a bunch of people. <laughs> Anyways, so, uh, you know, while we're here, why don't we just drop off all our bags and, and our rooms and everything like that. But first, we have to give you a few warnings. Now, the south end of the ship is off limits. As the last time the ship was fully functional, Black Sam crashed into a sandbar and the ship sank. <laughs> Killing every single one of his crew members on board. <laughs> so try not to do that. Mm, that would be bad. <laughs> so, we have, do you have a couple of forms? that we need you guys to sign. Typical, you know, the usual, your usual cruise ship forms just saying it is not our fault at all if you are killed, captured, taken hostage, or the ship crashes into a sandbar. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna head upstairs to the main deck for the free open bar, okay? All right. Oh my God, what just happened? What was that? Oh. See, I told you this. 
a little scary. Maybe we were drugged. No, 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 no. I think it was the ship. It did something. Like magic? Yeah. Magic isn't real. Okay, well, what if, okay, if we grab something else and it does that again, then it proves that it was the object. So, radio? Radio? Give me one of those. Yeah. <laughs> you don't get one. All right. <laughs> Any leads so far, Chief? Nah. These guys have been invading us for months now. <coughs> Sorry, I'm, uh, I'm a little new here. <coughs> what? What guy? Shh, newbie, take this radio, plug it in, go over there, and see if any of the stations are playing the Beatles. The Beatles? <laughs> you listen here, you oh, oh. We got these ruffians out here, they're up and down the coast of England, and they're stealing their radio frequencies and playing their own records. So? So they don't have a license. I still don't know what that has to do with the Beatles. And all they're playing is Love Me Do by the Beatles. <laughs> Gotta hate the song! It's stuck in my head. Chief hates the Beatles. Okay, uh... <laughs> Check the radio signal, sir. Yeah, you will. Got any idea where they're gonna be heading next? No, they've been attacking frequencies all up and down the coast of England. I don't know how they're doing it. What if <laughs> they were on a, on a ship? On a boat? Yeah. Like a pirate? Get back to the Beatles, newbie! Sorry, sir. Yes, sir. Wait, chief. What if he's on a boat? On a boat? <laughs> like a pirate. You're a genius, go on, sir. <laughs> or they could be on a... Yellow submarine! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I they would be, but if they were, they'd be in the middle of nowhere, man. All right, all right. Sure has been one hot day's night trying to find these guys, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Seems like only yesterday we got this assignment. <laughs> all right. It's a good radio, though. Nice wood, nice, uh, Norwegian wood. Kowalski, <laughs> 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 something's happening. <laughs> Again! <laughs> so it was the object. And magic! Or drugs! I told you guys we could be scared. You think this is scary? This is awesome! Like, totally awesome! We are pirates on an adventure. This is awesome! And you know what pirates on an adventure need? A hug. Hey! <laughs> Robert's the name, and today we're going to learn about my pirate code. Are y'all ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain! Rule number one. One. No. Every man shall have an equal vote in affairs of moment, and equal access to provisions and strong liquors. Every man? Every man! Even me? No, not you. Here's a rule number two. I don't like rule number two. No woman or child shall be allowed among us. Anyone who disobeys faces death. Wait, so why are we learning these rules anyway? Yeah, we're not even allowed to be pirates. This is stupid, I'm leaving. Me too. Wait, there's still ten more rules and so much exposition. <laughs> is it smart that we're just grabbing everything in here? Uh, again, it could be dangerous. I mean, you think everything is dangerous. But, like, what could be so dangerous about an old, mushy orange? <laughs> so! <laughs> you got scurvy! You haven't gotten up that good old vitamin C. Am I going to die? Yes, in the future you will, but right now your life is just gonna suck! Oh, no. Oh, yes. Right now you're probably feeling, oh, a little unwell. No? A little dizzy? Probably a little nauseous and a little... Oh, a little... Explosive diarrhea, maybe some <laughs> funky, spontaneous bleeding. <laughs> and soon they'll fall out, my dear. You'll need uh, one hell of a dentist to fix that up. Need <laughs> you survive, that is. And how likely is it that'll die? Well, are you going to be adding any foods high in vitamin C to your diet pretty soon? No, I live on a ship. I can't manage to maintain perfect eating habits. Well then. Like many before you, you will die of scurvy. And if I add vitamin C back into my diet, will I live? So long as you don't get salmonella. Salmo what now? Salmonella. It's when you eat raw or uncooked animal products. And can that kill me? Yes. In most cases, it will lead to a nasty, nasty death. 
stomach cramps and dizziness along with nausea wouldn't happen with first symptoms, would they? Indeed they would. Why? I think I might have salmonella. Oh, oh that is one horrible way to go. Oh, oh it hurts everywhere. Oh, next time cook your food so you don't get salmonella. If you survive the scurvy, that is. Is there any way to save me? Well, just go see a doctor. They'll fix you right up. Oh, thank God it's curable. Is there a vaccine? Vaccines? It's the 1800s. We don't have vaccines. We use leeches. Leeches. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Something funky is going on here. Like magic. Or drugs. Magic is it's real. You can with the drugs. What's, what's going on in your private life? <laughs> what is it? There's a lizard in there. Okay. That's fake, though. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mark Zuckerberg. <laughs> <laughs> and because of, and you know, people are stupid. Because of these people, I, still Mark Zuckerberg, was able to found one of the most successful websites of all time. Because of these people, I know everything about them. One info on anyone at Harvard? Just ask. I have over 4,000 pictures, emails, SNS, all because people just submitted them. They trust me, morons. You know, it's funny how people trust someone when they hide behind them. As if the fact that you're giving it to Facebook means you're not giving it to me. They've not only given me everything, they've given it to me laid out, color-coded, and digital. I didn't even need to steal anything from Harvard this time. So what if I want to sell it all? I mean, it's not illegal. Okay, so I held my tongue when it was a radio, because I got the pirate radio connection there, that made sense. But that was Mark Zuckerberg. What does that have to do with pirates? With online piracy. That is lame. I want sword fights. Sword fights are cool. <laughs> well, I, I'm online, online piracy is cool too. Like yeah, pack no, and stuff. No one sat down as a kid and said, hey, I want to be an online pirate. <laughs> have you never legally downloaded anything online? Because that's piracy. I suppose you're right. I mean, oh, we got a, we got a phone here. <laughs> Yesterday, I finally saw Dear Evan Hansen. Oh my god, this looks so freakishly good. Have you seen it yet? Oh, I cried like six times. Oh my god, I love it so much. Oh, here, I can send you the link. Or I could just sing the whole thing for you. Waving through a window. Shut up, your singing sucks. And did you watch the real show or a bootleg? I watched a bootleg. What's wrong with that? Bootlegs are illegal. Yeah, but I, it's it's totally unfair. It's so classist to, you know, expect everybody to buy these expensive tickets and go see the shows in New York, you know? For people like me, I can't afford to do it, so they should just post it on, like, PBS or CBS, something like that. I don't know. But people like me should be able to see it. That one Broadway chick who says she hates bootleggers as much as she hates the president can suck it. Classist or elitist Broadway actors aren't going to stop me from listening, watching, trading, and pirating their shows. Okay? So, if you want me to send it over, I can, have, I can have that video over to you in like a minute. I have like 80 slime tutorials on my phone, so just let me know. Slime tutorials? You're gonna send me slime tutorials? Ew! They're not actual slime videos. That's just what they're called. They're not so easily found. But if, you know, they're to protect from people like you, I guess that's not a bad thing. Oh, trauma kids, ew. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> that's bad. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Finally! Something of actual value. Wait. Gold! Wait, I want gold. No! You were scared of everything in the chest. You don't get gold. Yeah, well, I'm not scared anymore. Too late. Welcome, everybody, to Pirate Rap Battles! We have Captain Jack Sparrow and Blackbeard! Yeah! Yeah! Speaking about the real life pirates that they were based off of. First up, based off of Calico Jack and John Ward, it's Captain Jack Sparrow! Yeah! Alright, everyone, somebody give me a beat. I was facing not one, but two. Sailing every way till he got kissed and from the bottom. 
And might I say, uh, my beard isn't the only thing that's uh, fuller than Jack's. Um, <laughs> all right, uh, do the thing again with the beats and the stomping and the clapping and the yes, that's right there. That's annoying. <laughs> day after day, I sailed the Queen Mary. I was tall and thin, and my beard was real hairy. The fires under my hat, so it looked real scary. Originally Edward, but the name didn't carry. I s- I flub my line. You got this black beer people in you. I really don't. <laughs> what, what? We're breaking it down. <laughs> Woo! 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 All right. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Blackbeard bars. Pure weaponry and better fighting experience. I will have your head. Never. I will take Panama. I swear I shall. Over my dead body. Ha, so be it. Oh dear. Drop it. <laughs> take it away. There you go. Now, give me the city. Over my dead. I have said that, but I never be so. I can't think while I'm being strangled. <laughs> oh. 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 oh no! sentenced to hang. Ah, that sucks for you, man. <laughs> As my first mate, Anne, you're going to get hung too. The men in charge of our fates have heard of you. Apparently your fiery temper has earned you a reputation. Oh, why must I have a reputation for that? Not that I fight better than any of you men losers. <laughs> why does it matter? You're about to be hung. I am not! Yes, you are, Anne. And if they... If they think that I cared for you, they surely would hang you. Why? Why would they think that you care for me? Uh, because I am a man, and you, a woman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? You are a man? And I am a woman, so there must be something far more scandalous going on there, really. Yeah. Look, you may tell them that I've been with far more men and women than you could ever hope to be, and that I am pregnant. They will oh. not hang a pregnant woman. But you are not pregnant. I could be pregnant. You don't know that. <laughs> so, so what? I'm, I'm, I'm going to die and you won't? Yes. And you fought like a man. You must have been hung like a dog. Good day, sir. Help me. Help me. <laughs> a damsel. A damsel in distress. Oh, help me, please. Someone come onto this ship and save me. I need a big, strong man to save me. I am a big, strong man. Look at my abs. Six of them, 
one, two, three, four, five, six. It's the seventh one coming and it's not quite there yet. <laughs> Don't you love how in shape I am? Oh, it's such a sight to see. I know, I'm such a beauty. beauty. Yeah. Oh, just please come onto the ship and save me right now. Put on there other men on that there ship that's about yay big that will hurt me. I promise I'm not the most dangerous thing on the ship. Well, you're a woman, you have to be Exactly. All right, well, as I'm a big, strong man, aforementioned abs, and you're a poor, weak, frail, feminine, small, tiny woman, I will save you. Oh, come with me. What? <laughs> I'm Rachel Wall, sucker. This is my ship. What are you talking about? Now give me all your money and die, loser! <laughs> you knocked my mustache off! <laughs> <laughs> That was. Okay, so maybe there was some violence. Yeah. Oh, uh, this is odd. What? There seems to be a Mickey Mouse hat in here. <laughs> <laughs>
right. Pirates are pretty dangerous. Yeah. But. Um. Uh, yeah. Guys, there's another map in here. Oh, map. It's like yeah. to, the, to the real treasure? Let's yeah. unroll it. That is oh, the real that treasure. Is. That's hot. Look at that. Like, <gasps> you know, I'm so excited for you to finally be able to experience this ride with me. I know, Dad. You told me the whole way here. Man, I am sure I'm excited. I haven't been since I was your age. Please keep all of your limbs inside the vehicle and enjoy the ride. Shh! It's starting! Whoa, okay, this place is awesome. They even have a whole ship in here. Whoa, it's just great. This is just like I remember. Pure swashbuckling awesomeness. And that sword fight and... Dad, what's a brothel? Oh, shoot, provided with the brothel. <laughs> All things you noticed. Uh, that pirate has his hand Oh, there. Okay, no, let's move on from that to one of my favorite parts. The pooped pirate. He's kind of creepy. And what does he mean by showing the wench he's pursuing? Okay, let's, uh, I don't think it gets Auction? Work. Oh, no. Take a wench for a bride? Seriously, Disney? Auctioning off women? Oh, wait, my favorite parts coming up in three, two... There it is! Whoa, kind of loud, but whoa. Wait, Wait a, minute. a minute. Well, those townspeople are all dead. Whoa! You blow them up already, do you really need to pillage them? I don't like this, I don't like this, I don't like this. You know, I distinctly remember pirates being funny. Oh, oh pirates are mean and scary, and I don't know why anyone would ever want to be one. Why did you want to be a pirate? Oh god, did I really tell her I want to be a pirate? All pirates do is kill and steal, and why would anyone want to be a pirate? Where's that? Where's Johnny Depp when you need him? Bad pirates! Leave her alone! Stop the ride! Arr, mateys, hope you enjoyed Disneyland's Pirates of the Caribbean ride. Arr, next take photos of some of your favorite buccaneers. Arr, have a nice rest of your day. Arr, arr. <laughs> so, not a map. I don't think I want to be a pirate anymore. Yeah, I was right. We should just go. We've come so far, though. Yeah, I mean, it's a shame to stop now. Yeah, the, the note says something about a cousin. Let's yep. reread it. Okay, uh... Um... Whoever still finds this chest should not open it. If they do not heed this warning and choose to touch all the items in the chest and can manage to weather the trials, they shall find something beyond what any can dream. Huh. So... Can you see if there's anything at the bottom? Oh, that's a gun! This is bad! Uh, no kidding. Don't! <laughs> Hello? This is Captain Johnson of the, Ma the Maersk, Alabama. Help, there are four Somali pirates and they've got our captain. Okay, I need you to take a deep breath. Now tell me what happened. There are four Somali pirates. You're at sea when some Somali pirates came upon us. We were able to hold them off for so long, but once they boarded our ship, we had to hide. They got your captain? Yeah. We got one of their own, we're keeping him as a hostage. We're hoping to release him in exchange for the captain. Do you think that will work? Probably not. Captain, I bet the captain sacrificed himself so we could go free. Okay, I need to know your location so we can send rescue boats. We're roughly 240 nautical miles off the coast of Somalia. All right, rescue boats are on their way. Stay safe. Okay, we need we need to stop right yeah. now. Here's if you write, you can throw it out the second we leave the store. You know how bad you'll feel if you don't take it? Uh, I'm not gonna shut up until you do. No, Josh, you are not gonna be stealing a book, okay? You are done stealing things, alright? Now say it with me. You I are don't want, want it. it. No, but you want to steal it, right, Josh? I should. You should. Come on, Josh, no. You're better than this man. Come on, no. Do it now. The manager isn't looking. I stole it. Aw, how did it feel? Fantastic. Oh, good little kleptomaniac. I'm I I am i am not a kleptomaniac. I I I I don't need to steal things. It's just it's I wouldn't have taken it if I absolutely didn't want it. I I I'm in full control of this. I Right. So time to go buy that book that you wanted? 
I'm just gonna steal it. Oh, good boy. What? Someone stealing something? No, like having little to no control over like, your mental health and having your actions and people hiring you and making you steal stuff. Do stuff you don't want to. There's one thing left. We can just go home right now, okay? We're so close. Uh. What is it? It's just a file. This is the man named Pirate, the man who changed his name to cause more fear because he wanted the same legacy as those who raped and pillaged. This is the man named Pirate, the man who drove up to a remote cabin in Alaska with a girl he stole from an airport, tied her up, and raped her. This, this is, is the, the man, man named, named Pirate, Pirate, the man who looked away for a second, so she called her friend to ask them to call a rescue helicopter, and then waited two days in that cabin, fevered and at his whim. This, this is, is the, the man, man named Pirate. Pirate. The man who was not arrested because the girl died before she could testify. Died from a sickness she got in that cabin, so he walked free and moved to L.A. This, this is, is the, the man, man named, named Pirate. Pirate. The man who once again broke into a girl's hotel room, tied her up, and raped her. This, this is, is the, the man, man named, named Pirate. Pirate. The man who once again walked free because the girl was killed in a random car crash before she could testify. A little suspicious? No. This, this is, is the, the man, man named, named Pirate. Pirate. The man who changed his name to cause more fear because he wanted the same legacy as those who raped and pillaged. This, this is, is the man, man named Pirate. Pirate. This is the man named Pirate. We should have never opened this thing. Yes, the note tried to warn us? Yeah. It still did say there would be something special at the bottom. Do we really want to know what it thinks is special? I'm a little scared. Yeah, me too. Only one way to find out. See what's inside. On three? Okay. One, two, two three.